I was recently introduced by a student of mine to a wonderful new word I'd never heard before. It's German. The word is Fingerspitzengefühl. Fingerspitzengefühl has to do with the feel at the tip of your fingers. Why I'm mentioning this is most companies struggle to execute their strategy, to make the good idea they've got happen. And Fingerspitzengefühl is about the capacity to get things done in the front line of a business, but with a sensitivity to how the market's changing. It's a wonderful word. In business, there's a lot of intellectual work. There's crafting a clever strategy. There's a lot of execution work that comes from the gut. But great businesses have this feel for the business. It's hard to describe. It's often an insight. It changes all the time. Because customers change, technology changes, how people work or live or shop changes. And they don't need your permission for that. So the fact that you have the sensitivity to how the market really is changing or for how people are really using your products or services or what they don't like about your products or services is critical intel in a business, vital intelligence to help you shape how the business is going to compete. It doesn't matter if you're a small business with a few customers or a very large multinational. This sensitivity is critical. The way to get it, of course, is to be outside the business and to look at the business from the outside in and not as we so often do from the inside out. From the outside in, it's the market that's the boss. It's the market that shapes the possibilities for your business. In South Africa, many mature companies have lost the finger Spitzengefühl. And when you see a company in a mature industry suddenly make uh, great progress, it will be because they've had a superior insight. And that insight will normally come from executives who spent their time in the market, looking from the outside in and asking the question, why should any customer use our business to meet their needs? And that's the fundamental question of being market sensitive. As I always say, the world doesn't need our permission to change. It changes every day and every week from sometimes recognizable places and sometimes very surprising places. Avoiding being caught by surprise by change is, is resolved by being outside the business and spending your time asking how do customers and future customers use or should use our products and services. Finger, spits and gefühl. It's a word worth remembering.